I got a couple questions of people asking me how I was coming up with positive predictive values and negative predictive values. So I'm going to walk through the math step by step for those who are interested. I'm starting out with Bayes' theorem and then a simplified version of it. And over here, I have the same table that I used both in the video and also in the blog post that I wrote about screening tests. So true positives are people who have the antibodies, who the test labels as being positive for the antibodies. And then people who have the antibodies, but the test incorrectly labels them as not having the antibodies are false negatives. And then false positives are people who do not have IgG antibodies, but the test incorrectly labels as having them. For this example, I'm going to say we have a thousand patients at Circle Medical who live here in San Francisco. And because the recent um, estimate was that the prevalence is 5%, 5% of a thousand would give us 50 people who actually have COVID-19 IgG antibodies. And then if we know 50 of the people actually have the antibodies, we can say that 950 people do not have the antibodies. Using the newest data from Abbott on the IgG test, so that's the LabCorp one that we're using now, the sensitivity of that test is reported as 100%. So that means that all 50 people in our population who have IgG antibodies will correctly be labeled as positive. And if all people are labeled positive, that means that we have zero people who are incorrectly labeled as being positive. For specificity, the Abbott test is 99.5, which is also very high. So if we use that, if the 950 people without IgG antibodies, we'll get 945 people who will correctly test negative. And then we can subtract to get the people who end up being the false positives. For positive predictive value using these data, we have 50 people who are true positives divided by the 50 true positives plus the five false positives. So for a sensitivity of 100%, a specificity of 99.5% using a prevalence of 5%, we end up with a positive predictive value of 90.9%. So if the patient's IgG antibody test is positive, there's a 91% chance that he does have COVID-19 IgG antibodies. So that means that with our current situation with patients here in San Francisco and the tests that we're sending to LabCorp, a positive result is likely actually a positive result for the antibodies. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And then for negative predictive value, we're going to do true negatives divided by true negatives plus false negatives. So 945 divided by 945. So that means that if a patient gets a negative IgG test result, we can be 100% sure that they do not have IgG antibodies to COVID-19.